the one thing that stood out for me on the podcast was the fact that music is such a great distraction. That was so good. That has kept us sane this entire year, really. Yeah. Playing records yeah. and, and listening to music. And, and, and not just music, but the whole conversation about listening to an album front to back. Like, oh. I, I love it so much. Yes. Yes, the storytelling from the beginning to the end. So there's like a big twist at the end and people just listen to the famous songs and they don't know what's going on in the album. They don't know the strings that tie it all together and it's you're missing something. Yeah. It's not like <laughs> the song doesn't stand on its own, but there's so much more to it, I feel like. As a writer, like that's a big thing for me. They yeah. lead you in a direction, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same with like a book. Like you're not gonna start in the middle. And that's what she was saying. Like, it, like it's the same with authors. You can see their development if you pay attention to their writing. If you're not following the story, you're gonna miss parts of it. I guess I just love creatives. I guess because they have that mentality that Denai was talking about where she said, if you don't have a place to express yourself, create one. Um, and I, I love that mentality in people. It's never too late to try yes. something new. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> there is a live, like a karaoke in chats where then I was talking about talent. And she said, just don't tell me that it's too late to begin. You know when it's too late? When you're dead. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. <laughs> I like that. You you need to challenge yourself and grow in areas out of your comfort level. Yeah. That yep. was so yeah. good too. Something for I, me. You know, learn all the skills, just you know. And then how Denai said it, like if you go outside and you see the trees change, what makes you think you shouldn't? Very good. Because I have to be honest, sometimes like I do some things out of my comfort level and I feel like nervous and shy, but I just do it because like I know it's gonna be worth the while and sometimes worth the memory as well for sure there's a saying that life happens at the edge of your comfort zone oh yeah i've heard that yes mine was like charlotte being like do you want to be part of our group and i was like i guess it turned me, out a little kid and you said sure i'll take part <laughs> sure i'll do it <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out great i love that sometimes i feel like i have to tame my enthusiasm because I'll be seen as weird or whatever. But honestly, I love how you guys are on fire as well. And it really sort of feeds that inner kid. that's like, yes, yes, pick me. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> and I like how the group is really energetic and is super welcoming. As we get older, we put so much focus on looking a certain way. So I like that about the group because everybody's just kind of like free spirited. 